Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the um, partial quotients algorithm. And this is a way that we're learning how to do division in the fourth grade. So I start off with this problem, 327 divided by 5, and I write it like this. It's very much the same way that I learned division when um, I was in fourth grade. However, we extend this line all the way down. And the first thing that we're doing is we're trying to decide how many fives go into this entire number, 327. And we're trying to get as close as we can without going over. In order to help us, we're using this, um, we're using a sheet that students have that has easy multiples on it. And this is a simplified version here. But this helps me sort of decide how many can I, how many fives go into 327 without going over. So I think to myself, how many is 100 fives? So I have students who are just filling this out first before they ever do a problem. And then I think, how many are 55s? 50 55s are 250. How many are 25s? That's 100. And 10 fives is 50. So I can say, 5 goes into 327. Can I do it 100 times? I can't. But I can do it 50 times. So my 50 goes over here. And I know that 55s is 250. And I subtract that because now I'm going to have part of my dividend um, left, left over. So 7 minus 0 is 7. I can't do 2 minus 5, so I borrowed from the 3. 12 minus 5 is 7, so I have 77 left. Now I think how many 5s can go into 77 without going over. I look over here. I can do 10 5s. 10 5s is 50. I subtract that. 27. Now, I don't need my easy multiples anymore because um, with fourth graders being multiplication masters, they know that 5 will go into 27 five times without going over. 5 times 5 is 25. I subtract. And I have 2 left. Now, this number is less than my divisor, and um, so I know I'm done. So this is part of my quotient, part of my answer. This is part of my quotient. And this is part of my quotient, so I just have to add those. 50 and 10 is 60, plus 5 is 65. And then I have a remainder of 2. And that's it. I'm going to show you one more. I don't have my easy multiples this time. I'm going to do 498 divided by 4. OK, without my easy multiples, we can be thinking, can I do 100 fours? I know 100 fours is 400. I can do that. 100 fours is 400. Subtract. I get 98. So I think to myself, how many times can 4 go into 98? If I do 10 fours, that's 40. I could double that and do 20 fours, and that's 80. So that will work nicely. 20 fours is 80. Subtract. 98 minus 80 is 18. And I know that 4 will go into 18 four times. 4 times 4 is 16. I subtract 2. I'm done. This is part of my quotient. 4, 20 is part of my quotient, and 100 is part of my quotient. 124. Remainder, 